What's up guys, War here, and today I'm gonna teach you how to snapshot power level your character at the start of season 27. Let's get right into it. So real quick, I do have to say big shout out to Rax. All the credit goes to him and his community. I was watching him and learn this through Rax. So big shout out to Rax. Um, I wish I would have had this information to add on to my leveling video for season 27, but I did it. So we're dedicating a full video to it. So snapshot leveling, what is it and how does it work? Okay, so we're gonna dive right into that. So I have my brand new character I've been testing and you know trying to practice leveling in preparation for the new season let me know guys down in the comments if you guys want to see those kind of videos like practice uh power level video you know power level video power level power level ling videos <laughs> like how to uh you know get to 170 really fast and kind of see examples and stuff like that let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see things like that um but so we have our level uh one character here you have to do this at the start of the season before you do anything else. So this is gonna be before we roll our weapons in the cube. This is gonna be before we find the cube. This is gonna be before any of that, okay? So of course I do wanna add on here, when you do do this trick, you wanna do it just like you were leveling in my video, which I'll link above. So we're gonna come over here to the scoundrel. We're gonna grab um, his bow real quick and we're just gonna equip it, get rid of this, okay. So snapshot leveling guys so what the idea is is we're going to go to a level we're going to auto lock all the monsters to level one and we're going to kill everything and then hopefully be at a desired power or a desired level that way we can go get our cube and get everything a whole lot faster so let's do this so you want to start with your brand new character level one you want to have the difficulty on master or torment Okay, if you're playing on hardcore guys, it is gonna be a lot harder to do this because you do have to lock the map, so I don't recommend doing that. You're gonna have to play on a lower level. But if you're playing on softcore, you're playing a demon hunter, you're playing a barb, you're playing um, maybe a witch doctor or anything that requires a skill that comes later. That's the key thing here, right? Like, so for the demon hunter, for example, bull is at 11 is really good. Chakram at 12 is very good. Even though we get impale or if we get you know, the Carly's point at level one, you know, doing the power, that's real nice, but, or even fan of knives once we get, you know, if we get the other dagger, that's at 14. So we need these skills early on, you know, to start really power leveling, but we don't get them for a little bit. So this helps us do that and then get the cube at a stronger power level, okay? So start the game, you got your character level one, we're on torment and difficulty level one. Now where you're gonna wanna go is in act three, Ruins of Seshron. Instead of going to find the cube, we're gonna backtrack and go to the Eternal Woods. Now, as I've said before, we're gonna try to do this live. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, but you're going to want to explore the entire map. Do not, I repeat, do not attack anything. Because once you attack stuff and you start killing things, it's gonna change the level of the characters or the monsters. You want everything to be at level one, okay? If you start killing things, the more levels you gain, the higher they become, okay? We, we don't want that. So, what we're looking for while we're exploring this, guys, is a chest. Any of the chests will work, doesn't matter which ones you find. And we're trying to find a bow, whether it's a yellow bow, uh, you know, that armor and everything's all nice. Um, but we're looking for a bow. If these guys will stop and just let me, you know, go ahead and, okay, it auto-equipped and get these items, that'd be great. So the whole the whole thing is, is we're looking for a bow. Guys, I'm trying to do this for you live so you guys can see it. I don't wanna like completely bore you with doing all this, so I may fast forward it, but hopefully the map's not too big. But again, you kinda just wanna move around the map, try not to die in any case, or get walled, that really sucks. Okay, we're gonna have to come back and kill him. We're getting unlucky with the chest right now, which is kind of disappointing. There we go. There goes another chest. So hopefully, okay, no bow. That sucks. Maybe check the adventurer. Oh, there we go. Here we go. One last chest, guys. One last chest. There goes our bow. Okay. So we got our bow. It, it, it took exploring the entire map, but now that we have our bow, guys, we are good to go. So I'm going to get to a spot real quick and try to equip this without dying. So hopefully we just put it on C, 27% more damage. There we go. Okay. So we got a decent bow. It's not the best, but we got one. So now that we have the whole map ex uh, explored, guys, now everything is either snapshotted or locked in at level one. The monsters are at level one. So now all you want to do 
is to just start attacking things, okay? We want to try to get our Massacre bonus, okay? And get to level 12. That's the whole thing. We want to get to Chakram, and we want to get to Bolas, okay? Look at that. We're already level 2. Now, keep in mind that when you level up, this is a good tip here. When you're about to level up, try to get close to them and just... Oh, boy. You know, let the explosion kill all of them. That's the way to do it. Okay, stop freezing me. Freaking monsters. We don't have our Massacre bonus yet, but the whole idea is to get your Massacre bonus and going, just like we have here, and you're going to want to kill the entire board, okay? You don't want to leave here until you're at least level 11 or 12, okay? Now, again, this can work for any class. It does not matter, but it works preferably on classes that need certain skills to level up, okay? Okay, these guys, this, this is annoying, okay. Gosh, these guys keep freezing me. So, anyway, you want to keep this going, guys. Sorry, I'm trying to focus up here. I just keep getting frozen to death. So, you want to keep this going until you get to 11 or 12. That is the whole snapshotting method. And you want to do this until you leave. Now, the thing is, is that if you can rack up a big enough masker bonus, you should be able to get to level 11 or 12, no problem. Now, I do want to show you guys, like, as soon as I can level up here basically want to go up here and just kind of you know get close enough to where your explosion kills everything just like that and it shouldn't take long i mean we're already on a 50 streak and you know we're just we're just absolutely crushing it i'm stunned and then my thing went so we're already level six just like that guys so that is the entire snapshot method Doing this snapshot method is great because even on Torment 1, now we've leveled up. And again, when you're in there, if you keep the level 5, you know, if you come here to Forge Weapons and you make hand crossbows at level 5 and make two of these before you go in, that's another great way. I just wanted to, I didn't, didn't want to break down too, like, too technical on what to do, but you just wanted to go in there and do this, whether you got a new weapon. Because even in the beginning, you want to, like, buy items from vendors to have a little bit more survivability but look at this 55 55 so now we're doing even more damage while we're in there leveling up to get us to 12 very easily so if you had the level five uh hand crossbows you take them in as soon as you hit five you swap them out while you're maintaining your massacre bonusing and then easy peasy so that is the snapshot leveling method guys i just kind of wanted to break it down the best way i could and kind of show it to you live but Rax is the best. I'll leave a link down to the his channel, guys. He is the absolute best. So, um, But that's the snapshot method, snapshot leveling, power leveling. It'll help you, especially in the early levels. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like. And if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. All the support has been insane. We took a couple-day hiatus. We had to get, um, you know, had a lot going on with work and stuff like that. But we got more videos, and Season 27 starts this Friday, which I am super pumped about. So thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.